Good morning, everybody. And you're not wrong, Mr. Bitstream. Play Online had some pretty delightful music. So, while we are waiting for RimWorld to load up here, and sorry for the slightly longer than normal intro, uh, let's do our start to stream stuff. We are Frag Force, a charity gaming team here on Twitch and elsewhere, playing games and helping kids. In North America, we primarily race for Extra Life, a children's miracle network program that gets gamers like us to play games like this in order to raise funds for our local or not-so-local children's hospitals. I'm Warrender, and I'm raising for the Ann and Robert H. Lurie Children's Hospital of Chicago. <sighs> Every Children's Miracle Network hospital is both a teaching and research hospital. Not only are they teaching the next generation of doctors to give the care that they are known for, but they're also researching new and better ways to give that care at the same time. Alright. On that note, let's go ahead pop us a donation link here into the chat. And uh, away we will go just as soon as the game loads. And there it is. All right. Perfect. So, we've increased our defenses. Ha 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 ha. No. Actually, you want, you want me to read it again? You want me to start over? I will do so for a $10 donation. Donate $10 to Extra Life, and I'll read the opening spiel again. I think I need the fabrication wrench to make that new lung. Not entirely sure. Probably though. I want to move the animal pens. Oh, nice. We basically have finished all of our defenses. Very good. Very good. We'll do a hold open on that one. Shad, come finish this. No, no, no. I need you to open this door. So that, you know. There we go. doing all right we just we really need more people more people and a bit more storage space ah right we were working on our temple is nearing completion.
keep leaving, right, before it's done. There we go. A few more sleeping spots. And now we have finished our ideology thing, symbol. We're about to have the floors finished. That'll be nice. What quests do we have available to us at the moment? Our acolyte thing, which we don't want to do. Relic quest, which we do want to do, but not right now. Royal Ascent, no. Outlaw Post, no. Ooh, wait. There's a person. I didn't see that there was a person. Hold on, we might do this. Oh, there are a high mate. Hmm. That's basically a concubine. Kind, delicate, incapable of violence. Eh. Like, it's not the worst. But... That's really not worth the danger. I will find another person. At some point. Alright, so I do need to expand out just a little for that last light. Alright then. Alright, things are going well. Hmm. That's usually when things start to go poorly. Speak of the devil. Sorry, I'm trying to test something. Um, Humvee? Maybe. You mean this? Yeah, ancient troop carrier. A couple of updates ago, they added these wrecks on the world. Which are kind of annoying, because you have to shoot them to destroy them. You can't just deconstruct them. As soon as they begin to move, we have to be ready. All right.
All right. So we got one that's running away. They are not unwaveringly loyal. They are going to die very soon, though. Mm, good construction. Could be another melee and tough and industrious and plant. Oh, okay. Them. Them we capture. Them we capture. Just have to get to them quick enough. Hold on. I need you to pri prioritize tending. There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> there we go. Um, what the? <sighs> A zits. Of course. I hate electrical wiring. <laughs> Alright. So, they don't have... We're going to convert... Seventy-eight to sixty-five. That's not bad. All right, and now we can let every yep everybody's back to normal. Most of the barbarian people died. Not all of them, but most. There. Can I interact with it? No. It's it just has attack that to destroy it. Alright, they don't have anything for me. This is going to cancel that anyways. Waste pack clearance. What's this? Hmm. Good book. A good book. Skillcraft. some time to think on that. Is I still connected, right? Yeah. So why are they discharging? Hmm. Parker, would you please clean the room? They always leave it so filthy. Alright. 
Chad, would you actually, instead of doing that, put that in the temple? And then do that. Finish the job. Finish the job. look for mod that's like, you know, they have to finish what they're doing. No matter what. Oh, well, already down to 59%. Nice, nice. longer you play the more difficult the game gets like it does get more difficult over time okay Listen, I know that's outside the the area. But I need you to do stuff for me. close these bottom doors to make this low group have to go high since these aren't finished. Yeah, uh, a muffalo must have hit a trap. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but there's a dead muffalo down there. time. Alright. Same as before. See, they had to come up this way. I thought you couldn't stand on barricades. I have to double check that.
stupid toxic gas. I think that's everybody. Unrestrict. Alright. Not unwaveringly loyal. Didn't do anything too bad to him. A good miner. Steadfast jogger and another melee and plants. Alright. Not the worst. We need bodies. Oh, we did shoot this guy's leg off. It's ugly, can't care, base artistic. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass on that one. How about this one? Ooh, good shooting. Kind. I'll take that one. Void, you go capture that one. Ooh, normal quality chain shotgun. Um, there used to be. There used to be a way that you could specifically down them that would guarantee that they wouldn't die. Um, you used a heat box, and then when they passed out from heat exhaustion, you broke a wall to uh, vent the heat. Unfortunately, that doesn't work anymore. Um, now if they are down due to heat, uh, they die. Alright, all of you. You're gonna convert. Ooh. They are very resistant. This one not so much. What's Parker need? What happened to Parker? Just a sh gunshot. Okay. Got a whole bunch of slice caps, huh? All right, I guess I'll pick them up. Yeah, it's just the eldest. She be sneezing. Get an actual bed in there for you. And I guess I will make some furniture for you guys to eat on. Oops, that's that's the wrong table. Boy, can you clean that up first? <laughs> there we go. All right. And we have an infection because, of course, we do. Lynch. sufficient so yeah uh, since you probably aren't aware the thing with infections and diseases is um, they tick up to a hundred percent and your immunity or you know healing and whatnot yeah it's just immunity uh, also ticks up to a hundred percent if the disease or the infection 
gets up to 100% before your immunity does, you die. That's it. That's all that happens. You just die. So as you might imagine, we try to... Try to avoid that. Oh boy, if we do get these, where are we gonna put them? Yeah, I could change over to a barrack style base. What do you think, Bitstream? Should we try to find more room for more bedrooms, or should we switch over to a barracks-style base? I would like your opinion on it. Well, welcome to the chat, uh... What is that? Raisin Dieter? You vote barracks, huh? Well, um, a barracks basically means you have all the bedrooms, or all the rooms, in, or all the beds in the same. <laughs> well, I appreciate, uh, appreciate you being here. Even if you are quiet. I lurk a lot in streams I watch, too. So, no shame there. Uh, right, I was describing barracks to Bitstream here. Um, so... The advantages to barracks, of course, is you don't need to have a lot of separate rooms with their own stuff. Um, and, you know, that obviously saves you an immense amount of space. Like, I could house everybody in one room's worth of space. The disadvantage is it takes more to make somebody happy in a barracks because they don't like sharing rooms. It also... Um, you have to deal with the fact that everybody has a disturbed sleep debuff all the time, basically. Um, but honestly, I think my need for space outweighs the downsides. And we have an impressive area to make into a barrack. So I think that's what we're going to do. I just have to decide how I want to do it. Because I want to make sure I can expand my storage to fully take use of this. Which I could probably do here. Uh, it's not, it doesn't go too high, I don't think. Like, it's manageable. It's not like insults in an insulting spree. Where you can get up to, like, a 9 stack and negative 20 or something. That's, ugh. Yeah, I think we'll tear it all down and put them up here. Um, let's see. I don't remember how many dressers I'm going to want. Let's see, I have six people right now. Okay. Then we go ahead, keep the two good ones. Like, you'll see how this works. It's, it's a pretty good, pretty good thing. And we're not gonna need the vents anymore either. Let the deconstruction begin. And we'll keep an eye on the disturbed sleep. See if we can figure out exactly how high it can go. I think with what we're doing, we may want to 
bump construction up to a one on all my people that don't normally do it. <laughs> okay, so I could, um, but we already have a tiny area where we could potentially get, yeah, here it is. So anywhere that's overhead mountain is potentially an infestation location. And if I dig more in the mountain, I'll get that. Uh, there is a ideology that does the whole uh, dig into a mountain, live in a mountain thing. And I will probably do that someday on stream. But uh, not right now. <laughs> this is supposed to be a ranching playthrough. Which, admittedly, I'm mostly ignoring the animals. But they are there. They are providing our food and... Uh, stuff so it is a thing actually you know what I am going to deconstruct this power conduit specifically and put in the new power conduit the hidden power conduit Oh, right, yeah. I <laughs> was like, you wouldn't know about infestation, so I was going to explain about tyr uh, it, Yeah, basically. It, it is kind of Tyranids. You're not wrong. But you can now see... Um, the two buff from Decent Bedroom is now replaced by a one buff from very impressive barracks. So basically, it, it takes more to make them happy with the barracks. But if you can do it... It works. Deconstruct the one I want you to deconstruct. Thank you. Alright. And we are going to put in a... Floodlight. Um, it depends, uh, kind of like what you're going for, um, like if you're going for a particular kind of playthrough, there can be a quest completed, pods arrived, Waste packs arrived. Eh. Just a while. I'm going to move where I put my dirty pollution stuff. Hey, thanks for the follower, isn't it? 
we're gonna move the dirty pollution stuff to up here. <laughs> I know, it's, it's the silliest way of doing it. Oh, there, now the pollution's not right by our base. Um, so you absolutely can. You can um, go out onto the world map. And you can go from town to town, like attacking and raiding. It is doable. Um, it's definitely a lot harder. Um, but you can do it. I forgot to see if I could make that long. Um, it's, 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 no, I definitely need the fabrication bench. Uh, I don't have the room for it at the moment. Here, Shad, would you? You are already working on it, okay. Let's do medicine production. There you go, so much brighter now. Floodlights are nice. Okay. Uh, so we are converting over to barracks. We forgot to put up pillars for the roof. Oops. Um, that was a mistake. So... There's a certain distance from walls, at which point roofs collapse. <laughs> um, I might have forgotten to, you know, take that into account. Why did that? Hold on. Oh, I see. All right, uh, you do that, and then. Oh, okay, good. All right. So we'll get this, the base finished, reconverting. Uh, but I've got to get ready for work. So y'all have a good one. And we will return to our base reconstruction tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow evening. Who knows? One of the two. Y'all have a good one. And stay dry if you're in the Chicago area where it's nice and rainy. Or somewhere else where it's nice and rainy. Bye-bye.